This article contains spoilers for She-Hulk, Attorney at Law Episode 1. She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, is secretly continuing the story of Captain America, Civil War. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is set in a world carefully designed to look just like our own, albeit with the addition of gods and monsters, aliens, and mutants. Given that's the case, it's not surprising the emergence of superheroes has ultimately led to a number of laws being passed attempting to control their actions. At first, the world embraced the Avengers as a force for good. In part that was because they had a clear system of accountability. The Avengers initiative was founded by Nick Fury, after all, and was officially run under the auspices of S.H.I.E.L.D. But that changed after Captain America, the Winter Soldier, when one member of the Avengers Captain America brought S.H.I.E.L.D. down. For the next two years, Earth's mightiest heroes were independent and unaccountable. They made mistakes, with the Hulk rampaging through Johannesburg and with Sokovia ravaged during a battle with Ultron, an artificial intelligence created by members of the Avengers. That led to the passing of the Sokovia Accords, regulations that attempted to impose a system of accountability on the Avengers. The results were cataclysmic, with the Avengers schisming. The Sokovia Accords seemed to have slipped into the background after Thanos' snap. Nobody cared about arresting Steve Rogers after half the living creatures in the universe vanished in an instant. But the Sokovia Accords still exist in Phase 4, and now She-Hulk, attorney at law, is continuing their story. The MCU's Phase 4 has already set up the Sokovia Accords, while it's true the MCU has yet to officially name drop the Sokovia Accords in Phase 4, there have nevertheless been subtle clues setting up their enforcers in the U. S. The Department of Damage Control was established by Tony Stark in the aftermath of the Battle of New York, and its initial remit was to clean up sites of superhero action. Both Spider-Man, No Way Home and Ms. Marvel indicated this remit has been expanded, however, and that Damage Control now possess powers of enforcement directly targeted towards superhumans. In Spider-Man, No Way Home, Damage Control was envisioned as the federal agency charged with investigating Spider-Man's teenage vigilantism. Damage Control agents had powers of arrest and investigation, and they were clearly able to take cases to court, prosecuting superhumans who had broken the law. Damage Control's expanded powers were confirmed in Ms. Marvel when Kamala Khan found herself on the run from them after she first used her powers in public. Ms. Marvel Episode 4 revealed Damage Control keep a Supermax prison. The most reasonable conclusion is that Damage Control is now the group responsible for policing the Sokovia Accords in the United States. She-Hulk continues the story of the Sokovia Accords She-Hulk, Attorney at Law Episode 1 subtly hinted the Disney Plus TV show will continue the narrative begun in Captain America, Civil War. While most attention was focused on the revelation Captain America is not a virgin, one of the more interesting comments was a reminder from Bruce Banner of the bad blood between Steve Rogers and Tony Stark bad blood that flowed back to the passing of the Sokovia Accords. The two found themselves on different sides of that particular debate, and they struggled to reconcile right up until Avengers Endgame. This serves as a reminder of the conflict, foreshadowing the return of the Sokovia Accords. It's long been clear She-Hulk. Attorney at Law would continue the story of damage control. Cape Killers, specially equipped agents in uniforms inspired by S.H.I.E.L.D.'s anti-superhuman agents in the comics, were visible in the trailer, and one shot showed She-Hulk visiting the Dodge Supermax facility. That meant nobody was surprised when She-Hulk director Jessica Gao confirmed the show would address what has happened to the Sokovia Accords. In truth, it's the perfect place to do so. Many viewers have complained the MCU's Phase 4 slate feels rather disjointed. In part, that's because the sheer amount of new MCU content releasing in Phase 4 necessitated a change of approach, with each story contributing to a different ongoing narrative, one designed to build to its own sub-climax. 
She-Hulk, attorney at law, is clearly invested in continuing the story of the Sokovia Accords that began in Captain America, Civil War, one that continued through Black Widow, Spider-Man, No Way Home, and Ms. Marvel, and it will be thrilling to see how it all plays out. New episodes of She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, release on Thursdays on Disney+. Key releases Black Panther, Wakanda Forever release date, 2022-11-11 Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania release date, 2023-02-17 Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 release date, 2023-05-05 The Marvel's Captain Marvel 2 release date, 2023-07-28 Captain America, New World Order release date, 2024-05-03 Marvel's Thunderbolts release date, 2024-07-26 Marvel's Fantastic Four release date, 2024-11-08 Avengers, The Kang Dynasty release date, 2025-05-02 Avengers, Secret Wars release date, 2025-11-07.